In today's video, man, I want to talk about this soft guy, soft woman, soft girl era or movement. Let's talk about it. Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, you know, social media, especially YouTube, TikTok, stuff like that, man, it's being flooded with soft guy and soft girl uh, content. And today, man, I'm going to tell you that it's, it's not even, if you are spiritual Israel, man, it's not even worth you participating or taking any of that stuff to heed because behind a lot of these messages, man, you're not hearing anybody that has the light. You know, you're hearing people, you know, uh, that are ultimately selfish. We're hearing a whole bunch of sensitive men and rebellious women pretty much you know, try to make uh, demands and mockery of, you know, their piss poor dating, dating life. And I'll tell you, man, when you are spiritual Israel, when you are a woman and you are modest, meek, you know, got that quiet spirit and you know, you know, you got the genuine Ruach HaKodesh and you are moving in it, man, if you're a single woman, Man, it's not meant for you to have no worldly man. You know, you got to say like, like, it's not meant for you to have no, no soft guy. You know, the warrior is for you. You know, as a man of Yah, as a shepherd, I'm not taking part in no, no nothing called no doggone soft guy era. Especially when these guys is not saying nothing rooted in the will of Yah. It's like they, they, they won't. Uh, you know, all of the best women, but they still want to live like a, a rebellious, uh, sinful life, unborn again. You're not hearing any truth in their message. And I'll tell you, man, when you are uh, truly righteously masculine, man, you, you, you're not wasting all these time on these rebellious women. You're discerning. Okay. I discern, man, that this woman, she's not submissive. She's not modest. She's not, you know, meek. She's not prudent and on to the next forget what forget if they don't like it or not on to the next you see what i'm saying the moment a woman uh shows you the true colors and you start to see that rebellion as a man either you're in during that vetting process man you are either you know gonna say you know what you know this right here i think she can experience deliverance with it maybe she didn't know she's dealing with it or maybe she's somebody just completely rebellious and doesn't want to change. But most of these men and women that I see, man, a lot of these men and women need deliverance. And if they claim to believe, I don't know who they freaking believe in because it ain't the true Messiah. Out of all this, you're not hearing anybody say anything rooted in the truth of the Most High Yah. It's all based upon your feelings. Well, the reason I'm in my soft guy area is because... and. And the reason I'm in my soft girl area is because X, Y, and Z, bunch of nonsense. Bunch of nonsense. I don't see not one soft guy. When we read the whole of the the whole of the Bible, we don't see no no whole uh, entirety that was counted as righteous as a soft guy. And it's like we are truly in a, a generation that is promoting men being effeminate. Now, let me tell you something. These men will fool you with trying to look masculine, but the spirit in them is not masculine. Same thing. These women will try to, 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 to deceive your eyes with things that the world calls feminine, but they don't have the, 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 the righteous feminine that we read about in the book. It just don't have it. And I tell you, man, a lot of these people, uh, men and women, because they don't have the spirit of the truth, you got to think, man, the word says in Ecclesiastes 
the godly woman is reserved for him that fears the most high. So if you're a man that fears the most high, y'all, you're going to get the good woman. She's going to get the prize and you're going to get the prize because both y'all are in line with righteousness. But for the sinful man, your, your, your prize is the wicked woman. There ain't nothing you can do about it. No matter how good you think she is in the moment, the same wickedness in you is going to attract her. Ain't nothing you can do about it. And uh, that's pretty much my take, man, on this, on this soft guy. You know, ultimately, I want you to think about this, man. Oftentimes, you're focused on the wrong women. You're focused on the harlot. You're focused on the Jezebel. Jezebel was a wife, but she wasn't worth shit. You know, you're focused on the wrong women and your flesh is causing you to be attracted to women that are no good for you. That's why I say a lot of you need deliverance, a deliverance from the, you know, the lust of your flesh. And man, when you start discerning women according to, you know, the spirit guiding you, man, you will see a woman that you never, you never thought you would entertain and you'll see the spirit in her and that'll 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 outweigh any of uh, these other uh rebellious women it'll outdo them because you'll be like well that's the spirit we can work with that we can work with that a lot of men walk past a lot of uh decent women that's not stuck up that's not haughty that's not high-minded but if you're just going tit for tack soft guy going tit for tat with a soft girl and soft girl going tick for tat with a soft guy what the what the heck is that going to amount to nine times out of ten now a lot of these men ain't worth is not worth it they just don't have it they don't have the intestinal fortitude to stand there and and, and, and do what the book says righteously to be that kind of man so what when you when you can't you know uh fit the build righteously what do you do you result to being a soft guy and i get it a lot of these guys they're making this content to kind of mock what women uh what women have been doing for a while but i'll tell you that's not going to get you anywhere because women have been rebellious since since the garden so women are going to take this and it's going to cause them to be further rebellion what i'm telling you to do as a man hey you know you need to discern and ask the most high Yah, who does he want you to have? Not who your flesh want to have. Because what the most high Yah puts together, no man can separate. It don't matter what kind of era we in. It don't matter if we in a feminist, a 4B, soft guy, soft girl. But oftentimes you're trying to put something together that the most high Yah didn't want, didn't want you to have. You know, same thing, women. Hey, you got to... I, I get all of these women making this content, filling your head up with this nonsense, but you want that righteous man. You want that warrior that will stand in for you, you know, and the family, be that protector, that provider. He may not be a millionaire. He may not make 400,000, 300,000, but guess what? He can consistently make sure you got a roof over your head, make sure you got food in your mouth, clothes on your back, the necessities. You see what I'm saying? And most importantly, he can be a spiritual covering to you because that's what ultimately that's what you're going to need the most as a woman, a spiritual covering, because there's a lot of stuff that you can get sucked in and being naive as a woman. You need that spiritual covering. You need a God that's, 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 that is, is grounded in truth, grounded in serving the most high Yah, servitude, selfless service, not all these damn uh, soft guys and all this nonsense. I tell you, man, this is this is just another trend, and you give it three, four months, it'll be something else, man. It'll be the uh, it'll be the next the next name, the next uh, fad or whatever or, or dating trend. But I just completely disregard some of this stuff, even though I understand what they're saying. They're still not focused on what the Most High Yah would have them focused on, and that's the reason why you will continue to lose. You might have success in certain areas, but a relationship is not going to be one of them. Because the Most High Yah wrote the coldest, you know, and the most the, the most uh, successful dating advice that you could ever have. People have tried to rewrite dating books, and you're not going to top what's in the book. You're just not going to top it. I don't get why people don't follow it. Closer to Yah Ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Wow.